Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Two Brothers Roleplay Series for Farming Simulator 22. I'm here with my brother, Gutterball. My name is Fury Machine, and we got a lot of stuff planned today. What do you got to add, my friend, my brother, my sibling? What do you got to add this morning? I just wanted to welcome everyone to the farm, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, so what we got planned today is Gutterball is going to head over and do some field work. Remember, we were prepping that last field, and I am going to head into my treks. I'm going to head downtown, down to the shop, and see if I can buy another plow for it and see where we can go. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. A little extra oomph today. I look forward to getting up every morning and doing this farming thing with my brother. It's awesome. All right, let's get into the treks. Uh, gutter ball? Yeah. Uh, do you have the treks? No, I'm in the fence. Because our trex is not in the shed where I left it last night. And it was shut. The door was shut. Let me check You're the... You're positive you parked it in there? I put it in there. It was in here last night when I went to bed. I was the last one to use it. Let's check the other sheds to be sure. I hope somebody didn't come and steal it. Oh, you don't think. I don't know. It isn't in here. Okay, let me check the other sheds. All right, I know you're losing your mind, but you really I, forgot where you parked that thing. Let me check. It's not in that shed. It's not by the cows. It's not by that. I might run over right. and check that field. Yeah, let me, because I've been known to leave them in the field before. It's not in the field, brother. It's not in the field. Um... Okay. So why don't I head down to the local police station and maybe see what I can do to file a report maybe? Because obviously it's been yeah, stolen. Yeah, because it, yeah, if it's, because we haven't been in the grass field yet, so yeah, you better report it. I'll keep, run down there and talk to them. I'll okay. run around the uh, farm here and see if I can happen to find it somewhere because it's not yeah if you find it let me know otherwise i'm gonna go down i'll take the little utv down to the uh police station and i'll file a report down there uh because it's not here it's not on the farm it's not anywhere so i can't believe that somebody would come in and into our shed oh yep yep our shed's been broken into oh really yep yep because the door opens, because I hit the button this morning, but the track is busted. The door is only oh, half, it's half great. hanging on. So what I want to know is how they were able to get in with our house right there while we were sleeping. Right. I'm gonna, right. I'm going to try to shut this before I go. Um, oh, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't stand near that. That's very, very dangerous, by the way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll have to get our hammers and stuff out later. But let me head down to the police department and see what they've got to say. All right, I'll give the insurance company a call okay. while you're gone. And I'll get everything on that end taken care of. All right. Oh, great. Yeah, another downfall that we have. I thought we moved away from that stuff when we left the city. Me too. But we did say everybody's going to want one now after they see us out here using it in you, the fields. Yeah, and I laughed when you said it, and I thought, nah, nobody's going to want one. And then no sooner than they saw our drone footage and somebody showed up and, and took it. Well, if they want one, that's fine. They don't need to take ours. Or ask us, and we probably would have loaned it to them. Yeah. Rent it to them so Plus, we make money. <laughs> yeah, well, plus now I've also got to replace that garage door. Right. That's not cheap either, so make sure when you call the insurance company, you mention the garage door also. All righty, um, I'll do that. See if they'll want to send an officer back out. I'll, I'll check when I'm down here. Okay. I'm stop in. I'm down here now. All right. 
right, and pop it in here and Well, that was easy and hard at the same time. He, uh, what did they say? Officer Cletus is the guy's name that I spoke to. Uh, I've got all the paperwork on me now, so when I head back to the farm, I'll hand you all the paperwork. Basically, okay. he filed a report for us, and he told me that he's going to let me know in the next couple of days uh, because out here in the middle of nowhere, it takes them a few days to figure out. They're going to search around. They're going to search the woods surrounding our farm to make sure... They're going to check the local lakes to make sure that someone didn't dump it in the lake um, and go from there. And they're going to let us know in the next 24 to 48 hours what they find. Um, okay. I gave them both of our numbers so they can call either one of us. And okay. he said if he finds something quicker, Officer Cletus said that he'll come on right out, out to the farm to see us. Okay. Okay. Um, the insurance company said that we will be covered. Okay. He, all we need is we need the police report in the officer's name. Okay. And But they can't do anything right now until, unfortunately, until they find the tracks. Okay. But I said, well, we need some more uh, tractor or something mm -hmm. for Fury to be able to work mm -hmm. on the farm. She said to go ahead and lease one. Okay. And if they do find the trucks, they'll reimburse us for the uh, lease of money that we had to put down on. Okay. One. Okay, perfect. Yeah, when I come back to the farm, I'll hand you all the paperwork, and you can put it in the safe, and you'll have it. Um, okay. You'll have it on the farm for when they show up, if or if you want to make a trip down to the insurance company, it's up to you. Um, okay. Well, I, yeah, I'll go down there tomorrow, I guess. Okay. Because she said it ain't no big hurry because it ain't like they're going to find it. Okay. She doubts they'll find it in the um, next hour or so. To also let you know, down here by the police station, uh, remember that big $100,000 donation we put towards the new store? Yeah. They've got it pretty much finished up down here. Oh, cool. Yep, it's cool. called the Sweet Shop. They're actually hiring, so if you want a job, let me know. <laughs> yeah, in all my spare time. Yeah, in all our <laughs> spare time. But anyways, let me go jump in here, check with Walter. I'm going to go ahead and lease. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get another fence, and I think we need a cedar too, correct? Yeah, because uh, we got to get that field done. Okay. Let me get us. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get the big the big fit. Fit, fit dent. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's so funny. Oh, I and the worst thing is I slept really good last night. That was that was the worst. I did too. That that was our problem. We slept too good. All right, it's gonna cost us eighteen thousand dollars to lease it. Now they have this thing down here that allows us to lease to own, which is gonna be kind of cool. Won't cost us as much up front. Um, right, a little cheaper up front than a normal lease would be. I don't. I would assume, but I'll I'll show you all the paperwork when I come home, and you can look it over. Uh, okay. What size cedar do you want for the farm? Because you're going to be planting wheat, correct? And do you want a direct drill? Uh, I guess we could, yeah. Okay, that's six, that's eight. Uh, 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 uh half a dozen on another. And you know what? Let's what? let's do the lease to own on on everything. Okay. Because we're going to get reimbursed on the initial payment we put down on that tractor. Correct. By Correct. the insurance company. Correct. I hope I hope they catch the guy or girl or whoever took it. I hope they catch I him because yeah. Me too, and I, I hope we can still uh, use it. Yeah, me too. Well, you and I have enough ingenuity. I'm sure. We could figure it out if it's not too broken. Right. Uh, right. Okay, so you want to go 8 meter, 6 meter, or 6 meter? They're all direct drills. Uh, let's go the big one. Okay, the 8 meter. Uh, yeah. Let's lease that. Okay, that's only going to cost us 8000 which is good. And then I'm going to bring this back to you, and then I'm going to head... Oh, that's right. I forgot they deliver them now. Let me bring my UTV back to the farm. I'll hand you the paperwork, the police reports... Meet me back at the house real quick so I can give you all Alrighty. this paperwork for the leasing and everything because usually keep a lot better tabs on the 
finances than I do. I used to just spend the money. <laughs> um, I ain't been doing too good about remembering that uh, loan payment, though. Yeah, I had to. I actually sent it out at about two o'clock in the morning after you, after you you went to bed a little early. I stayed up and 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 paid it, which was good. Right, right. I don't want to get to the next month because. I don't know. I, I just can't. I still really bothers me that someone would steal that. Right. Right. Says, I want to head back down here after I hand my paperwork to you, and I want to get a forestry harvester so I can start cutting some trees down while we're waiting, because I don't have anything to cut trees down. Right. I know. And I looked in the shop, and they do not have another Trex. We have the only one. Oh, great. Okay, so here you go. Let me stop here. Is this, got, is this got fertilizer with it, too, or is it just seed? Uh, I didn't look. <laughs> I just grabbed the biggest one. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> okay, here's all the paperwork. Here's the police report. Uh, you have the insurance okay. paperwork already, or she's going to mail them to us. I can't. I'm, I'm going to go down there oh, you tomorrow have to go. and take her all this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, he, yeah, here's the police report. It's Officer Cletus. He signed it. Uh, hopefully okay. in the next 24 to 48 hours, uh, he lets us know what they found at least. Okay. All right. So I will go back down to see Walter, and I'm going to grab a uh, Forester, whatever. I think they're called Forest Harvester, I think, and a truck and an auto load. All right. I'm going to get some slurry and finish up that field so we can get okay. that planted. Or actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's double team that so we get it in the ground before we go. I can spread the slurry, and you can start seeding if you want. Okay. Is this full? No, nope. I gotta fill it. Okay. No biggie. We're just gonna have to pay for some slurry. For no, no, actually, we got some slurry, don't we? I thought so. Okay. Let me find out here. Yep, I got enough to fill it, which was good. Cool. Oh, we got 4,000 liters of milk, too. Nice. You know, they when I was down at the shop one of these last times, they said that they can come and get the milk every morning at 6 o'clock if they wanted, if we wanted them to. Oh, that'd be nice. Then we don't have to worry about doing yep. it ourselves. Just remind me tonight after we lay our heads down, <laughs> after we finally fall asleep, that you'll. Uh, when I go down to the shop, I'll let Walter know that. Yeah, that little store that they built with our donation money came out pretty good. Yeah, I'll go down and check it out. Yep. It's uh, literally right next to the police station, so can't miss it. The shop, police station, and the convenience store all right there. Okay. Well, like I said, I owe you an apology. You said it, and I didn't believe you. You said everybody's <laughs> yeah, going to... didn't mean to jinx us. <laughs> I well, I always am a, uh, a laughable... I laugh at everything. And then, right. unfortunately, they come back to bite us. I just can't believe why we were sleeping. They were oh. able to sneak on here. That's kind of break our door. There. Yeah, it's. Uh, I thought we escaped this when we left the city. To be honest with you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this doesn't. It seems like I'm using more than what I was before. Because when I did it last time, I made it almost the whole field. <laughs> Maybe the slurry that I bought was a special kind of slurry. <laughs> like an extra long Maybe. kind. Right. I mean, it's still, it's still not going super fast, so it's not bad. I like how the little slurry tanker is hooked to the pickup truck. It makes it a lot easier to drive.
All right. In fact, I was looking at the calendar. This is, you have to, yeah, you're going to have to get that in the ground very quickly because this is the last month you can plant anything. Oh, all right. Pretty cool. All right, I can't get that cedar to fill at our uh, five point. Okay. Well, we may have to change it. You know what we're going to have to do? Let me... Or you could do it, actually. Uh, why don't you return it and get the next size down? Because it may be an issue. Maybe I didn't buy something right when I was buying it. Or it didn't come with it when we leased it. You never know. Yeah, I can't get the lid to come open. Okay. So go ahead and return it, and we'll just get the smaller one for now. It'll only be six meters, but uh, it'll still be a cedar. Right. Because I did look at the calendar. We literally have this month only to get these crops in this ground, and otherwise we'll be waiting until March. Yeah, we don't need We need that straw. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need straw for our en engimals. There's a little option where the key, you have to hit the, go to the key button to return it. Yeah, I got it. I figured return you knew how to do it because you weren't saying anything. <laughs> now, as we get our more and more and more head of cows, um, we'll upgrade from this slurry spreader to a bigger one. Okay. Yeah, that six meter, it's a... Uh seed and fertilizer good all right so we had about eleven thousand liters of slurry which will almost finish this field which is kind of cool oh i forgot I almost the... bought it yeah we're not at the point yet no because we still have a hundred thousand dollar loan payment to go out at the end of the day right. <laughs> in the month I do want to, as we get back into summertime, after this, we're going to see how brutal this winter is up here. Uh, oh, I know. But after this, when we get back into summer, I want to build a dock down here so we can fish and swim and take the kids out with the boat. And Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. And then when Mom and Dad come up, we can take them out on the boat and actually go. Because the lake, if you look, runs around our property. It oh, let, I know. It goes on both sides, so for we can build a, a gutter ball deck and a fury deck if we don't care. <laughs> Give our own stuff. Now you want wheat down, right? Yep. Okay. It'll be, according to the calendar, about seven months before we can get it. <laughs> Yeah. This fruit cannot be planted in November. Well, we missed our opportunity. No, that can't be right. I just looked at the calendar. Man, okay. that's what it's telling me. Uh, oh, October. We missed it. So what can we plant in November? Uh, nothing. <sighs> really? Yep. Missed our window. Another rookie mistake. Yep. We'll learn. Well, we have the cedar, though, and it's full of seed. Right. For you. So I might as well go ahead and finish the slurry on this, and then this will be done. Uh, I'll start working up that grass field because I know we should be able to plant grass. Well, yeah, or you can plant grass in here. We can always plow it back up next year. Yeah, but what's the sense of that? Because we ain't going to be able to mow it through the winter. 100%. In fact, probably another month we won't be mowing at all. That's why I right. said I want to make sure that we get sometime in this month, we get our uh, tree harvester because once it gets too cold, we can't mow, we can't do anything. 
the only way to make money will be to, to sell all the logs back to the local lumber yard. We can ice fish. That's true. We're going to try that anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's not going to make us any money. I mean, it might. We could. We could. No, but it'll save us some. We won't need food, dude. That's true. We could start a fishery if there was enough fish in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I do like this little slurry spreader, but I, I can see us, as we start expanding in a couple of, e a couple of years, that we're going to need a bigger one. Right, it's that's only, what I was thinking. It's too. only a six meter spread, and eventually we're going to have manure from the cows anyway, so it'll work out. All right. All right. Well, like I said, we didn't know everything we needed to when we came out here. We knew that. It was my fault, too. Oh, I, have yeah, to, I, mean, I have to take a little responsibility. Better. Yeah, we're getting better, but I have to take a little responsibility because I swear I looked at that calendar and thought we had till November. That's all right. But You, you know can what? do dishes tonight since you messed up. So when I'm at the shop, I'll make sure I buy paper plates. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known you had yep. an answer for it. That's it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Don't forget the plastic silver one, I know. Too. We'll picnic style up here. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So that got us a little bit. This field's decent size, actually. It's uh, it's just shy of two acres, which isn't too bad. Man, I like this cultivator. Oh. Yeah. I was... Uh, Washing off your um, your mower the other day, and I was like, I backed it into the shed, and I'm like, man, that is super nice too. Oh, <laughs> my favorite mower, huh? Yep. <laughs> I love that thing. I love it too. All right, let's see if I can do this without going in the lake. Here. Well, the good news is they're giving us a deal on slurry when we buy it, which is good. Uh, for 6,000 liters, it only cost me $149. Sweet. Are we... I'm assuming you're just going to replant grass in there? Yeah. Nice. So as soon as I'm done here, you want me to head over there and, and slurry that up, too? Yeah, you can. Okay. Just don't let me forget to head down sometime before the month is over and grab our... Our stuff that we need to get set up for our logging business because I think if we do it right you know how it works when, <laughs> when Fury thinks sometimes it doesn't work out that well <laughs> I think we can make a decent living at it there's I mean looking around there's trees everywhere ever yep yep and if they find well, I our, guess if I, you want when you're done putting a slurry down mm -hmm. there um why don't you head up and go get that stuff? Okay. And then I'll just I'll just get this field taken care of on my own. Okay. That way maybe you can get that home and might be able to start uh, cutting some trees down now. Now I'm hoping that they fix or find fix that they find our tracks because that thing will will get rid of stumps as well when we cut the trees down. That's yep. That's what I was thinking. I just hope it don't take forever. Oh, me too. Well, he was very cool. Out. I mean, he was, compared to the, the police that we're used to in the city, uh, he, he seemed a little bit slower. He's the only one on duty. So, um, right. after all, it is a small town. Yeah, to be honest, I was surprised they even had a police Yeah, me too. Here it's me so too. Small. Yeah. Now, I did notice a little difference. I don't know if it's the kind of slurry that we're buying, but when I purchased it through the buy point there, it's using it far, far slower than when I use it from the cows. Huh. That's yep. different. It is different. Huh. It's, I didn't understand. Like, I don't know if it's watered down more. <laughs> or what? Well, yeah, it's still oh, slurry. Yeah. Huh. It's it's using it at a pr 
probably about a, a quarter of what the the slurry from the cows was. I mean, it, like so I said, the free it, stuff are going to use up more. Yeah. So I don't know if there's something that they treat it with. I'll definitely have to ask around. Right. Because if we can find something that maybe they treat the slurry with, and it may be a something that they put in it to store it. You never know. That could be. I just can't wait till we have enough cows that yep. we can support ourselves with all that. Yep. And it will happen. I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> right. Might oh, be. yeah, because we can almost have, what, almost 500 yep. cows in that barn, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can always expand to the field that we're making right now, and we can always build another one. Right. Yeah, we got plenty of acreage, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. That's, a, that's the cool thing about living out here. They, they sell it to you by the acre. They don't sell it to you by a little plots. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you're in the city, here's a little plot, and there you go. When you come and out you here. more for that plot than yep. what we did for an acre out here. Here you come out here, and they're like, here, how many acres do you want? I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you think about where we used to live in the city, this field that we're, that I'm spreading slurry on would be about a block. <laughs> It'd be the size of a block. Right, a whole city block, yep. yep. At fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 a plot. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Come out here. They're like, how many acres do you want? How much can I buy? <laughs> it's like, well, first, what's the price per acre? Right. And then they tell you, it's like, you've got to be kidding me. That's all you're asking? Yep. Oh, we can ask more. No, 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 no. I didn't say no, that. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but the good news is, is they are giving us quite a deal on slurry. So... It is only right. hundred and something dollars for six thousand liters, which isn't too bad. Right. Yep. So you oh. almost got that other field done then. Yep. Huh? I literally got. I'm on my last pass now. Boy, I will tell you what, we've had a heck of a day. Yes, Tracks we have. Stolen. Can't put our feet, our uh, crop in. I know. Oh. You sound like me. What else? <laughs> I know, shut up before I make something else happen, right? <laughs> nope, I never would tell you to shut up. You always have the right to tell me how you feel. You know that. All right, so this is the last. So this, But the nice thing is, is come the springtime, this will be ready to go. We can literally just put wheat right in the ground. Right. Yep. Because it is, it's got full nitrogen level. Perfect. Perfect nitrogen, perfect the well, it's not giving me the value pH. for the other three, the pH yes so if it's not giving me the value then it must be good right uh, we didn't put any line down so it probably isn't registering it then. hmm which reminds me did we buy a line spreader I don't believe so I am going to while well, I'm right here I'm going to go ahead and fill this slurry spreader for you for the four dollars that it cost me. Four dollars. I just seen that four bucks. <laughs> I will park this by the by the shop here, and I'm gonna head down and start bringing back the harvester and the truck and the trailer for the wood. And uh, look and see if okay. we have a lime spreader because I'm gonna have to put lime on this field too. Okay. Uh, where did I put the now, does this little UTV have a three-point hitch on it? I got spoiled with that Trex. They deliver it, brother. Oh, that's deliver. right. That's right. That's right. All right. So let me see here because we probably could get away with a little bit bigger one, right? Probably. Because we're going to need it, I think, eventually. Uh, They got the Kubota one. It's 42 meters wide. Um, Holy crap. They've got the Amazon, which is 42 meters. They've got an 18 meter, 42 meter, and 18 meter. So, do you want one that's going to go three point hitch, or do you want one that's going to go on a trailer? Uh, let's do the three point. Okay. So, you want the Kubota or Amazon? They're both exactly the same price. Whichever. Okay. 
So let's go. Well, actually, the Kubota will hold 10,000 liters. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we're going to go that, and then we're going to lease it. We'll go XL. That way you can hold 10,000 liters of lime. I don't know how much lime is going to cost. It's only going to cost us $1,500 to lease it, though. Sweet. It's at the farm already. I wonder if I can... Good, I just finished up. Well, it's not a very heavy piece of a machinery. Because <clears throat> I'm able to pick it up. Huh. Yeah. It's not very heavy. It says... It doesn't say... It doesn't give me a weight thing, okay. but it, I was able to pick it up and move it. Whoops. Did I put that in the wrong spot? Cool. Is that where your cedar goes? That's all right. I'll move it because I'm fixing to go over there and get it anyway. Okay. No, that's where my thing gets parked. Whoops. I knew that. The nice thing is this thing right. is nice and light. Uh, let's move her down here a little bit, and then you can... We can always move it around where we need to. There. All right. So let me head down with the Kubota, and I'll buy the... Well, I'll lease it. We can't buy anything right now. We're getting low on money. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried about that payment. Yeah. That we have to make. Me too, to be honest with you. Uh, I won't, I'm going to check... Head up first and check on the wood chip factory. See how that's doing. Look how big your tractor is compared to my little UTV. Meet, 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 meet. Oh, golden <laughs> opportunity to pay you back for the other day. Hey, you didn't have any stitches, so. <laughs> oh, I tell you, that cultivator made short work of that field. Yeah, it did. I was done before I knew it. That's awesome. Not like the little tractors we started with, huh? <laughs> yeah. Pull that field no problem, no. Yeah. Instead of having to flintstone it, stick my foot out, <laughs> try to help it up the <laughs> try to hill. Push it like our old go karts. <laughs> right. <laughs> as long as there was a hill downwards, we were okay. Well, right. uphill wasn't bad as long as you were around, because then you could push me up the hill. Well, that was the last little bit of wood chips that were in there. We don't have any. So, am I going... Do you want me to sell this factory while I'm here? Because I don't think we need it anymore, right? No, we shouldn't. Because we're going to lumber, right? Correct. Yeah. It's going to give us $39,000 back. But remember, too, that we can always take out a loan um, if we need money. But it's just another loan, another payment that's on top of the other loan that we already own. Uh-huh. Right. So it would just be more to pay back. But I think we're getting close to having all the equipment we need, right? Should be. Now, here's a question for you. Man, I love this little UTV to buzz around the map, though, with. Or to buzz around the farm with. Look how wide that is. I know. <laughs> how fast is it using it? Uh, <coughs> you just sprayed me with it. <coughs> uh, let me get it off my shirt. <coughs> Tastes like chalk, by the way. <coughs> oh, good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I need a drink now. Um... <laughs> I wonder if we're going to be able to sell logs to that thing, or are we going to, they're going to make us buy the, the, the thing. Uh, I think I, I don't know. I think I still should be able to just sell them there, correct? You would think. Okay. Well, let me head uh, down to the... another thing we we'll, can try. have to figure out on our own. Yep. Wasn't it pretty, though, that getting up this morning and... It, Seeing the fog on the lake and the, yeah, you and I were drinking our coffee, talking about that on the porch. It was like, oh, it's so beautiful up here. The sun rises out here, man. Oh, oh. and they get better because we we're clearing out some trees, so you can yep. even see. You can actually now. see. Yep, I was gonna say, that's great. Wow, this lime. Does it go fast? <laughs> 
Yeah, it knocks it out. 13 mile an hour I'm getting with it. Woohoo! How fast is it using it, though? Uh, I got almost finished, and I've got 43%. Now, I hope that, would you think that might be enough to head up to the other field and put lime on that field as well? That's what I was planning, yeah. Okay. All right, so this, I can't afford a trailer or thing to take this back yet. So it's just the harvester. Well, it's funny because I'm down here at the shop. And Cletus is still here. <laughs> oh, really? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to push it. He said he would handle it. So, right. I'm not going to. I don't want to push it. He We're might be making some phone calls for all we know. That's very, very true. All right. So, where is this thing? Where is it under? Oh, forestry. And I need this one. Uh, and I'm going to $25,000 to lease it. And then, where is it? Oh, it's it delivered. <laughs> Why did I head down to the shop? I could have bought it right from the thing. All right. Did you put sugar in your coffee this I morning? I think so. I think I might have put it in my <laughs> bed last night. <laughs> Rolling around in sugar all night, I swear. I don't know why I came down here. I forgot we have the app where we can just order it at the, at the farm and have it yeah. delivered. Because I'm going to get a truck, but I want to get the cheapest truck. I may have to get a dolly because we already have a tractor. Because um, they have this uh, newfangled yeah. uh, auto load truck or trailer that you can just drive up to the logs and it'll automatically load it for you, which is something that I definitely want to want to look into. I do like this UTV. Oh, got about three quarters of this field done. And then you ran out? Yep. That's still pretty good, though, because you did the whole other mm -hmm. field. That's really right. actually pretty good. I can't believe oh, I went well, down. Well, it is what it is. We need it. Yeah, we do need it. But then the only thing you'll have to do then is plant grass on that, right? On the other field? Correct. Okay. Ooh, that harvester scared me. I forgot you bought um, one. <laughs> I'm going to keep the UTV in the in the yard because I'm thinking about putting a gate on um, just to keep some of our stuff locked up. Then again, yeah, then again, they broke the lock right off that. Well, we're going to we're going to invest in some security cameras now. It's a good after idea. This. Uh, after driving this UTV, this thing is huge. <laughs> and I think we will invest in dog too while we're... There. Yep. In fact, I was... I saw some signs down at the at, at the shop. Uh, we could adopt a dog if we wanted. Somebody had puppies and wants to get rid of a dog. Oh, cool. They're just puppies, so... Well, that's good. We train it the way we want. Right. We train it to bite you every time you come in the house. Perfect. I'll train it to go to the bathroom <laughs> in the house. Then you're going to be even. Oh. <laughs> no, because you'll make me clean it up that's all right. the time. That's right. You know how I roll. <sighs> all right. So let me get this newfangled auto load. Only $1,000. The one thing that is nice is that leasing is a lot cheaper right up front. Right. That's what I'm noticing. Uh, and I'm going to get a dolly because we can't afford a so truck. So with that leasing, then, mm -hmm. you put down a certain amount, and then what? You just make a monthly payment? Correct. Oh, and okay. then it, it, But at any time, any time we want, um, we can pay it off. Like, oh, if, okay. for example, if we start selling logs and we start making a whole bunch of money here, um, then we can buy, we can take it off the lease and just buy it outright for whatever's left. So what they said nice. is the deal is this is it's a, like a uh, almost like a rent to own type deal, but they call it like basically okay. lease to own. So <laughs> nobody saw that, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> nobody, nobody saw the fact that I had that on. Anyways, except for you, because you started giggling. <laughs> it must, it must have looked hilarious from your end. It was. Anyways, <laughs> I was in the middle of a great story too. <laughs> I'm crying over here laughing. I just wanted to get in the tractor and I chucked it. Apparently my Hulk, you know, I have Hulk arms or something. I forgot I had that turned on, to be honest with you. Anyways, um, so what it is is you pay an initial lease cost. You pay so much a month, so much an hour on it. But every time a month goes by, it'll take the money off the total balance. Oh, okay. So, like, if you go into the leasing thing right now, like the forestry machine right there, you can purchase it, It's but it'll cost us... Uh, it doesn't give me a thing until I hit it. Um, let's see. Okay, right there. Okay, so because we have not made a monthly payment, if we want to purchase it right now, it'll be $485,000 to buy it outright. <coughs> Yeah, okay. but that's because we haven't made any payments on it yet. Right. So, okay. yeah, I said the same thing. I choking to death on. But yet I was fine with spending $300,000 on my fan. That was okay. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of stuff leased now. <laughs> oh, okay. I know. Okay, so what I want to do... There's that. And then I want to change. There. Whew. Made this a little tight coming out. Oops. That's not going to work. Okay. So. Fury's got to learn how to drive with a dolly on, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get us at least. <laughs> it's alright, I'll take out uh, half the farm. It's alright. I just drove up one of our light posts. <laughs> we'll blame it on whoever stole the tracks. That's we'll it. Get insurance to cover it. Alright, let's see how this bad boy works here. Well, at least we can laugh about this with the trucks, you know. Yep. But then again, getting mad ain't going to change anything. It is nope. what it is. Yeah, 100%. I'm making the fish trick over here when I'm playing. Well, we are officially loggers now. Sweet. Dairy farmers, we're regular farmers, <laughs> we're loggers. What's new? Dad and said we're still broke. <laughs> Dad said we could be anything we wanted. <laughs> yep. And the list keeps growing. And then growing. growing and growing. Yep, it's the truth. I do like this little harvester. Oh, sorry, Mr. Deer. I almost ran you over. Supper. Uh, I don't think I can cut this one down, can I? Nope. Those are one of the weird trees. This is where I want my tracks. I don't mind. This is pretty oh, yeah. fun, actually. I don't know if I would want to do this any length of time, but... We'll find out because if we if if we make a hundred thousand dollars, then it'll be worth it. I'll keep doing it. Right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> what? You got one tree over there? You can't cut down? Yeah, it's like one of those maple trees. Oh. Uh, they kind of. Okay. I'm gonna try to cut like. Four or five of these trees and see how much we make. Uh, good idea to see if it's worth our time or not. Right. Because I'm I'm slowly getting the hang of it and it's kind of fun actually. So if it works out, 
then and if, if, as long as we're making decent money on it, that's all I care about. Well, right now, any kind of money we make on it is going to be decent money. Yep. So. I was just going to say. And these trees are really long. I'm cutting them at 12-meter uh, lengths, and I'm getting three and a half full pieces out of each one. Per tree? Yep. Wow. I knew they were big, but I didn't realize they were that tall. Nice. I have pulling this planter around after the cultivator. <laughs> Seems small. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, because we are going to be finishing this episode up. So, before we leave here, we got about 10 minutes left, right? We started at 8, then 11, 12, right. 1. That's five hours. All right, before we do that, I got to pay this loan payment before we forget. Before we shut this thing off. We don't off. have enough. Oh, boy. All right, so let me take this down and sell it real quick and see if I can. It might be a little bit longer drone video, but... Well, we got that 4,000 liters of milk, too. Hopefully. Um, that'll put us over the top. I hope so. I don't like the dolly on this, though. I would rather have a truck on it. But we can't afford a truck right now. Right. I can't believe it's almost noon already. Yep. Man, time flies out here. Yeah, it does. I was just going to say I looked up and I wanted to pay the loan payment back, but I don't have any money. I just hope the sawmill, after my trip down there, lets me... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to have to buy a truck because this is <laughs> wrecking everything. <laughs> <laughs> there that's four trees let's see what that gives us I could go a little bit longer too I could probably go 13 meters on this yeah because isn't it the longer they are the more we get paid for I think so that's what it, the little description said okay. these are 12 meter lengths I'm hoping at least to make 20,000 off this I do know that this is a factory down here, but I'm pretty sure you got to buy the factory first. I better hope you make 40000 buddy. We owe 160000 remember? Mm -hmm. If not, they'll probably come get our Kubota. Oh. They better not take my fin. I hope not. Yeah, me too. I'm going to cry. Man, you lose your treks today. I might lose my fent tomorrow. I know. Oh, we're doing good. Well, if it's under 20, I think they'll probably, you would assume they'll probably take. Well, we only made $9,000 off four trees. Wow. Okay. So, let me come back and we'll sell that milk. Because I think that this sawmill might be more set up for a factory type thing. Oh, okay. So that's why it's not paying as much for logs. Still, it was $9,000 more than what we had, but still. I don't think with 4,000 liters we're going to make $20,000. Yeah, I don't think so either. But I'm hoping that they understand, and if they do come get something, I hope they come and get just a little Kubota. I'm hoping, but you know how that works. Because we don't control what they do. 
Yeah, they'll take whatever they want. I mean, we do have 2,100 liters of digest that, that we could sell. Yeah. Uh, where is... Oh, you're spreading slurry? No. Where is it? Then? I'm planting. It's up there at that factory that... No, nah, it's at the shop. We own. Oh, okay. Problem is, is this is now full of this, so... Put it in a silo. Can you? I think you can, right? Yeah, you should be able to. Sell it. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> now, am I going to have to switch this back from a slurry spreader to a tanker to be able to sell the milk? I think so. Yeah, because remember we were supposed to put that piece of paper up there? Yeah, we never did. Us. This is not using much seed or fertilizer at all. Awesome. No, it didn't cost us anything because we apparently we purchased it that way to begin with. So when we can switch it back and forth without it doesn't cost us anything. Oh, okay. What do you Oh yeah, yeah, the seed and fertilizer in that cedar. Yeah, that's that's a nice yeah. one. It's it's not very big. It's only six meters, but it still works. Hey, it's getting hit in the ground. That's all that matters. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, now, where do I go to sell this thing? <laughs> Milk. Oh, up. I know where to got to go. Well, how much is it? Oh, it's not going to pay us only about $3,000. Because it's only going to give us $600 per thousand. And that's about 2400 is what I'm guessing. Uh, I wonder if... Yeah, and the problem with the stuff is the least stuff we can't return. Because we don't get any money back for it. You know what, bro? If nothing else, we could sell... Our forage wagon, that'll give us 50000 Yeah, because we can always pay it back. Yeah, we could always get it later on because we don't need it right now. No, we won't need it for three months. Right. Well, we won't need it until springtime. Right. Uh, the other that's thing... Better than, that's better than them coming and taking something of ours and then we have to make the payment. In Plus, fact, buy that back. In fact, I can sell the cultivator back for seventy, and the forage wagon back. I mean, we can always just lease them back too if we need to. Right. So, which one do you want me to do first? The forage wagon Whichever. first. Whichever. Whichever. All right, we'll do that. And then I've sold this. I got to shut this down because we're going to be finishing up here. Let me make this loan payment. 160, Alrighty. right? Yep. There we go. <laughs> Ouch, that hurts. Yep. Ah. All right, so I got to finish this up because we're past our time already. So, as usual, thank you guys. Thank you. A little off camera. Thank you for joining us for episode four. Thank you for all the support and love that Gutterball and I are getting. Keep your comments rolling. Keep coming in. Keep coming in. We are loving you guys watching it. We're having so much fun making this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and I'll say my intros, and I'll let Gutterball end it as I always do. So please, please, please look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. And uh, most importantly, look out for each other's family because it's just not important to Fury. And Gutterball should be important to you guys for we only have one family. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the little notification ding ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video. 
Because I'm all over the place. Be sure to like... Or I already just said that. Oh my gosh, I just almost repeated it. <laughs> um, be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And Gutterball, you take it away and finish her up. Thank you everyone for showing up and watching this video. Take care of yourselves and we will see you on the next one. Perfectly said. And as that notes... My name is Fear Machine and Gutterball and I are signing off and we will catch you all back here in a few days back on Wilhelmina Forest. Thank you guys.